What's up guys, Tao here. So one of the key feature within iOS 13 is the ability to connect to different USB uh, dongle or accessory to it. Um, here I have iPhone 7 with iOS 13 installed. Now today let's have a look what kind of accessories on this table uh, can be connected to uh, the iPhone 7 with the iOS 13 installed. Let's try it. Now, first thing first, let me just show you the phone is running uh, on the iOS 13. Uh, here you can see, where is it? Uh, software version iOS 13. Okay. Now, on this table, I have a variety of different accessories. Now, one of the key accessories you will be needing is this very expensive uh, lightning to USB 3 adapter or a dongle. So this is the Apple official version. Now this will provide sufficient power to it. Uh, without this, a lot of accessories, um, I think it won't work. Uh, we're gonna find out today. So yeah, on this table I have, uh, oh, and also uh, to provide the power, I have one of these um, Anchor power bank. Uh, it's about 20,000 milliamp. Uh, juice inside, which is pretty handy. I've been using this for a little while now. So that will provide the power, uh, connect to this um, uh, spare lightning port. All right, first of all, let me just show you guys where to find the uh, mouse cursor option within setting. Uh, let me just show you guys now here. Uh, here is the setting. Now, the place you need to go is accessibility. Before the iOS 13, you need to go into general to find it. Now, uh, accessibility has its own tab now. So you tap on that and look for touch. Okay. And then assistive touch. Uh, now it's off. Tap on it. And what you need to do is switch on. You can see here, we will need to soft button to come on. And uh, where is it? and go down this pointer uh, devices so that's where you will need to go to find it there's a pointer style so that the size of it you can change uh, how how big the, the the cursor is uh, we're gonna see in a second and how this thing works all right uh, what should i try first uh, i'm gonna try you know what let's try the mouse so I'm gonna connect the mouse to it and uh, connect this to it and then the little dongle here. Now I'm not gonna connect to power supply just yet just to see if this thing works. Ooh! Hey, it works. Let's see? Can you guys see it? I think you can just scroll it. What is it? Touch. And then... System touch. And then go down. And then... Point to style. You can change the color of the, the cursor. Yeah, now it's red. And now it's green, you can have different color choices. And then it's auto hide. Now here is change the size of the crest. Oh my God, okay. That's too big. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you can choose the devices. Right now I have a USB receiver connected. You can actually use Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse. It works the same way. Uh, oh, here you can, oh, because the mouse has three buttons, uh, left, right, and the button in the middle, I have three choices here, so I can have, oh my, all these different options. Uh, where's the home button? Oh, yes, sweet. Now, the this wheel, if you press down the wheel, that's acting as a third button that will go home. So if you right click, that's the option menu, you can use that as well, this is soft touch. Or you can just click on uh, the home wheel, or the wheel, and that will go home directly. 
Now this is pretty awesome. All right, next, uh, you know what? Let's try the USB hub. So this one has a four USB extensions. I'm gonna connect to one to here. Okay, so it says uh, accessories uh, needs too much power. So now I'm gonna connect extra uh, power source to this um, power bank. So let's see if this works. Mm, yes, disappeared. So that means hopefully this thing will work. Now I'm gonna connect this to that. Yeah, where's my mouse? Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. Okay. And going to setting and then uh, where is it? A touch. So yeah, the mouse is working and uh, more interestingly, the USB hub is working. So let me just open that. Oh, there's nothing here. Go home. App Store. Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, iTunes. Oh, nothing there. How do I? Oh, yes. Now, this actually you can use as a normal mouse, just as you do on a computer. Yeah, so the USB hub works. Uh, but you will need extra power source, but that is okay. Uh, what else? Uh, let's try, you know what, let's try the uh, memory card reader. Now one of the, another feature uh, in the iOS 13 is the file app. So this, this has been improved according to Apple. So if you connect anything like USB, which is recognize it, it will show up here. So let's try this. Uh, memory card reader. You know what, actually, I can't believe this thing actually works. Nice. So, now you can see the iCloud drive on my phone and there's no name. Now there's a USB uh, icon here. So if you click on that, so, oh, that's the file in it. Uh, let's see. This is the video I took with the Olympus uh, EM, EM1 Mark II. Uh, let's see. Will it play? Okay, so, uh, card reader works. Uh, what else? Well, if card reader works, that means the USB stick will work. Uh, let's see. That's USB stick and plug in. Oh yes, beautiful. Now I recognize the Sony USB stick. Okay, USB stick works. What else? Uh, Ethernet, why not? Let's try Ethernet. Now if this thing works, that will be amazing. All right, right now, I see uh, Wi-Fi is not on the cellular. There's no SIM card inside. As you can see, there's no SIM card. And also, uh, let me just go in and make sure the Wi-Fi is not connected. Uh, mobile data, there's no SIM. So the phone right now is not connected to any sort of internet. Let me just go. To Apple, you can see Safari cannot open, that means there's no internet. Okay, let me connect this to a, to a something. Uh, let me show you. It's connected to the ethernet cable here. And, oh, blue light is on. Okay, now I really, really, really hope this thing gonna work. I'm sorry about the mess here. I'm really, really excited. Uh, okay. Can you see it? 
right now there's no internet if I refresh no way this is amazing and um, what else you know what let's try this now this is the uh, SSD one terabyte uh, two and a half inch drive I'm gonna use this uh, SATA 2 USB 3 adapter now if this thing works I will be completely amazed mm, I think it needs power yeah so this is not working Okay, so as soon as the hard drive is unplugged, it, the mouse come back. So which means it's drawing way too much power. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Uh, this will provide its own power. Uh, now let's see if this thing works. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, the light is on. Uh, the mouse is working. Yes! This is amazing! Wow. As long as you've got sufficient power to power the drive, and then it will work. Okay, that, that worked. This is a three and a half inch drive. Uh, two terabyte. No. Let's see if this thing works. Again, you plug in and you switch on. It's spinning, the mouse is still here. Will it work? Will it work? Uh oh. Um, the light is still flashing. Oh no! Wow! <laughs> you know what? Look, this freaking thing is awesome. It worked. And let's try this. There's a um, PCIe uh, SSD here, and I'm using the adapter. Uh, let's see if. This thing works. Uh oh, mouse, mouse has disappeared. So it, it used too much power. Okay, now that means this will not work. That's not working, which means the external drive will not work because it requires a lot of power. Okay, let's try this plug-in. Yeah, the mouse, mouse disappeared. It will not work. So, yeah. Right, the conclusion of the external drives, uh, as long as the drive has sufficient power to make the disk spin or just to provide enough power to the drive, and then um, the phone uh, will recognize it. Um, and also um, the format of the drive uh, make sure is FAST32, uh, which is FAT32, which is the basic uh, Windows format, and then that will be okay because all the sticks and drives do all FAT32. So, yeah, if you want to use them, make sure the drive is that kind of format. All right, so far, what's the conclusion then? Um, the mouse will work, and the USB drive will work and uh, external hard drive will work as long as it has its own power source and also formatted with FAT32. Um, the keyboard, yes, will work. And Ethernet, amazing, it will work. So this is new discovery to me. Uh, I can't believe this actually worked. So in case you got no Wi-Fi, I don't know how you're gonna use it, but yeah. That worked. Um, yeah, so just make sure you have your own power source. All right, um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the mess. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. 
and hopefully you learned something you didn't know about, uh, especially about the uh, new iOS 13 feature. Um, yeah, so see you guys in the next video.